In this video we shall talk about why complete abstinence from video games is a necessary condition to overcome video game addiction. So video game addiction is the loss of control over gaming time. It means that uh, uh, regularly or from time to time uh, you set up a specific time to play video games but you break down your limits. Uh, this leads uh, to a lot of damage to harm in your life. Uh, which uh, cannot be compensated with the time you spend with video games. And sometimes people think, oh, maybe I can still be able to control my gaming time and somehow to balance out my life. So I will play, you know, this, uh, this two hours of video games, then I will study for two hours, then I will build my relationship for the next two hours. But let me tell you this, if you have already lost the control of your gaming time, it's already there, it's inside you, it's a deeply rooted habit. Now uh, your mind have an idea that actually that any time it's possible for you to break down your time limits, to start binge playing video games and uh, it will always be there inside you. So if you lost it, you lost it forever. And any time you, uh, you know, start uh, playing uh, a video game, uh, you will have this risk of relapse. The risk to lose everything you are building while you are trying to overcome this video game addiction. And if you relapse, you will uh, uh, have to begin from the very started, starting point when you uh, were, you know, at the highest level of uh, dependency on video games. It's like, you know, uh, there are people who are trying to tame wild animals, then they take them home, uh, try to live with them, for example, like a, you know, really dangerous predator, like a bear, for example. And, you know, video game, it's like, you know, playing, playing with this uh, wild predator, wild animal. It has already, video games have already done harm to, to your life. Yes, you know that, you know, you can't, you know, control yourself because they impact you, your mind, you know, your uh, nervous system, your brain. And you think, oh, I can tame this beast. Yes, I can tame this predator. I will find the way. But you know, this beast, it can always hit you. It can always bite you and, you know, it, you know, tear you apart and get back to where you started. So do you need to take these risks? I think you don't because you will lose everything. You will get back to the starting point. There is no point in doing this. The second reason why I recommend to abstain uh, from video games is that every time you start playing video games again, you reinforce your gamer's identity. And this is the identity when you value video games more than anything in your life. When you begin to build your life around video games, when you will begin to structure everything around video games and inevitably uh, you will begin to neglect your responsibilities to put them away and get back more and more uh, to video games again. And finally, playing video games is a certain lifestyle. Lifestyle when you pursue pleasure, entertainment, uh, when you are, uh, you know, already a teenager who is going to start an adult life or you are already an adult, this is not what an adult or a, you know, mature teenager should do. Because when you play video games, you actually, you know, put your head in the sand. You say, oh, I'll just play video games and the other guys know better what to do with this world. Let them run the show. And you actually, you willingly, you know, take yourself away from being able to impact the world, from being able to bring good to this world, from being able to be strong because video games make you weaker, from being able to be smart because while you are not learning, while you are not developing yourself, you are not getting smarter, you are stagnating or uh, you are losing uh, your capacities and uh, your abilities. While you are playing video games, you are becoming less independent, you know, you are becoming less mature, 
and uh, you are allowing other people to run your life so abstain from uh, video games this is not just uh, um, an issue of addiction yes when uh, you can always have this risk of relapse of reinforcing your gamers identity this is a meaningless and that's what a grown man should not do in his life stay with me and see you in the next video